and we want to officially extend to you an offer to come to the Holiday Bowl in San Diego. Thank you very much. The Rams celebrate an historical moment. It took a season of remarkable moments to make it happen. A season in which a team united around a single goal and rose above all expectations. A season when they found a way to become champions. player asked you, well, this, he's doing this, he's doing that. Our best answer is find a way. I don't care what he's doing, but you find a way to get it done. And that kind of been the prevailing theme of this year. And our players really did have that fortitude character to find a way. Every game was, was the biggest game of the season. There were a lot of doubters. And we just knew we had to stick together. And no matter what happened, we were going to find a way to win because we knew that this was the season that we were going to do it, if any. 1994 begins with the Falcons ready to pounce on the Rams. But on this day, Colorado State soars. Turner makes the catch, breaks the tackle at the 20. All of a sudden, our offense explodes. The first six times they touch the football, they get points on the board. I thought that gave us a, a sense of we were going to be a fine football team. Everything goes right for the Rams in this 34-21 victory. Anthony Hill completes 13 of 20 for 240 yards. E.J. Watson gains more than 170 yards. He scores twice. E.J. will score easy. Defensively, the effort is equally impressive. The Rams shut down the Air Force attack in the second half, allowing just 55 total yards, three first downs. Preseason pollsters picked the Rams to finish near the top of the conference. This game shows they had the heart to live up to the hype. Coach Lubick told us that you know, all the pa what the paper's saying, what the media's saying doesn't really matter now. You, we have to go out on the field and prove it. We rose to the occasion today. That heart doesn't skip a beat the following week. The Rams ride cloud nine back to Hughes Stadium to meet Utah State. Leonis Brown fills in for an injured E.J. Watson and keeps the offense in high gear. Two speed, he won't get caught. Again, the Rams put together brilliant performances on both sides of the ball. Brown carries 17 times, gains 190 yards. The stingy defense gives up just 157 total yards. The Rams win 41-16. And the Colorado State team putting on a good show here in the first half. They lead 20 to 10. Another true test of their heart and soul comes the following week in Provo, where the defense finds a way to steal a huge win. BYU was a big interception by Greg Myers. At that time, we hadn't made a first down. We are struggling, and all of a sudden, I look up, and we're in the end zone. I'm thinking, we might be able to pull this off. Myers is named WAC and Sports Illustrated Player of the Week, but it takes a total team effort to pull off the upset. Defensively, the Rams are relentless. BYU quarterback John Walsh has the hottest seat in the house. He spends the warm afternoon trying to avoid the pressure. The Rams sack him five times. Two sacks in a row, and the Ram defense is really picking it up. The offense feeds off the defensive effort. They're going deep for Paul Turner, who's got Mitchell to beat. What a catch! Turner makes it, and he dances the sideline and out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Time after time, they turn in the big play, and the Rams defeat the Cougars 28-21. How can you go down into that stadium where they don't, they lose very seldom? We go down there and find a way to hang in there, stay tough right down to the end, and win the ball game. And seeing that everything kind of clicked for us, I think that built us confidence up, and uh, we just continued that to the next game, and it kept on snowballing through the whole year. Last time we beat BYU in Provo, I don't know how long ago it was. I mean, I, was probably, I probably wasn't even born yet, but uh, the season just took off from there. At that point, we had so much confidence in ourselves that we could beat anybody that we faced. The effort earns the Rams a spot in the AP's top 25. Bubbles the football, Rams have it, now it's loose still, Rams got Against San Diego State the following week, it becomes obvious that 1994 is a year of destiny. At this point, opposing teams not only battle the Rams' heart, but also their collective will. Like two prize fighters, the Rams and Aztecs punch and counterpunch all afternoon. EJ, big hole right up the middle, 15, 20, 25, 30. EJ on the run, he's got two men to beat. He's at the 50, and he's going to be hit down at the 42-yard line. Gutierrez back to pass all out, blitz, and they got him. Sanders, Sean Moran, drop him. Oh, As 
Aztecs come with a linebacker blitz. Anthony Hill, long downfield. He's got Olsen in behind the coverage. What a catch! Touchdown! What a catch! The victory remains in doubt until the final bell. At about the 43-yard line, this is going to be 53 yards for Peter Holt. This would be his longest of his career. From the near hash mark, snap is down, kicks on the way. It's got the leg. He missed it off to the right. We must be living right. The Rams don't do their fans' frayed nerves any favors the next week at New Mexico. This time, they're forced to survive an attack by Lobo Stoney Case. It takes a career night by Anthony Hill to salvage victory. Hill connects on 25 of 35 for a personal best 364 yards and three touchdowns. The Rams explode for 583 total yards, but even that almost wasn't enough. Last play of the game from the 20. Case back to pass, throwing it in the end zone. Ray Jackson intercepts the ball, and this one is over. Wow. From the upsets to the game settled on the final play, Ram fans are beginning to show signs of wear. For the team, the jubilant and frightening moments leading up to this point strengthened the heart and focused the resolve. This was a team that had eliminated all doubts about itself. The players trusted their coaches, and most importantly, they believed in each other. Call it confidence or call it destiny, the Rams knew they still had much to prove. They got their chance in Tucson, Arizona. Let's go out there like the champs, and let's play this seven. One play to go! One play to go! Play fakes. He's rolling right on the bootleg. Has a man. Touchdown, Justin Shaw over the middle. And Colorado State strikes first. They lead it six to nothing. At that point, a sixth graded team in the country. Great defense. A, a lot of national recognition. Here we come in with just a bunch of light like, calls, just a bunch of young kids, and going in there to see what we can do. And again, they step up, find a way. Running back step up for blocking purposes and right in from behind. Hit again, dropped by Sean Moran at the 33 yard line. Everyone didn't give us a chance, you know, and we believed in each other. And for some reason, we just came together that night and, you know, that week before the game, and we just knew what we had to do as a unit. And Anthony fakes it to Van Ward. He's back to pass, looking downfield. He throws as Justin Scholl makes the catch at the 10. Five touchdown, Colorado State. When the defense wasn't there, we, we seemed to find something to pick us up to the, the offense, get it going, and get some points on the board. And, and when we were struggling, the defense would come up with big plays, like at Arizona. Rams showing blitz. Here they come, and there's a fumble on the play, and Colorado State picks it up. Sean Moran at the end. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. I knew I wasn't going to fall on it because I'm like, this is the biggest game of our season right now. Actually, when I hit the end zone, it was I was just ecstatic, but I couldn't really do anything because my stomach was turning. Colorado State, 21. Arizona, 16. Do you believe now? Yes. That's a hell of a job. That was just probably one of the most pleasurable moments I've had in coaching. Sometimes you don't realize all the emotions, but I, I see the coach, and I remember looking at Coach Maggie, who he was crying. I see other players half here. We're all looking for someone to hug. It took us 20 minutes to get off the field, and I'm glad that our players had the wherewithal and the coach had the wherewithal to savor that victory because it did kind of put CSU and the city of Fort Collins on the map for a week or two. The Rams return to celebrate with the folks back home. After the heroes welcome, the Rams get back to business. They dismantle UTEP 47-9, gaining more than 580 total yards. Moreno back to pass, now a drop play to Renard Carr. Renard breaks the tackle, he's at the 40, he's at the 35-30, down the near sideline, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Renard Carr. UTEP nets 139 yards, just 23 on the ground. Demand now exceeds supply. Extra bleachers are brought in, so everyone has a chance to see this team of destiny. Take an angle this way. Don't, you know, because he'll outrun you. Take an angle and cut him off here. 
As Coach Lubick prepares his team for this week's game against Utah, he takes pride in what his team has accomplished. The best part of this thing has been uh, to see the fan support, uh, the student body, uh, the togetherness that this team has brought, this whole community, school, and everything so, so together. And uh, I just hope that's what pleases me more than anything. This is a classic showdown. Two undefeated conference rivals, both nationally ranked, staged before an overflow home crowd and a national TV audience. The Rams and Utes do not disappoint. Utah takes control early, but the Rams answer every challenge. And there is the play fake, the throw in the end zone, oh, the touchdown! There's the snap to Jones, here comes Colorado State, they block it! It's loose and Colorado State has it at the 16 yard line! Anthony takes the snap, runs the option, there's the pitch to Ward, inside the five, he dies for a touchdown! And Colorado State has climbed back in it, folks, it's 31 to 23. Even though they play catch up for most of the afternoon, the Rams are driving for the win when disaster strikes. Uh, I talked to the people upstairs, looking at Coach Gildani on the sideline, and said, uh, we get this one in, we'll go for two, think of it, get the two point play ready and all this. And uh, we never had the opportunity to execute it. However, I, I was, I was proud of our football team after that game. I, the way we came back and played, and it, it was a low, a low point from the standpoint of the ball game, the score for Colorado State. It's just too bad that team had to lose that ball game. I don't want anybody leaving this locker room with their heads down. You guys are champions, and I'll tell you what, this season's not over yet. You got it. The Western Athletic Conference race is, in fact, far from over. New Mexico shocks Utah and charges the atmosphere for the border war with Wyoming. Sparks fly when Lubick gambles on fourth down. There's the snap to McDougal. And it's a fake, and Andre Strode is open at the 45, 50, 45, 40, still running all the way down to the 32-yard line. It seemed the ball, it took about an hour for it to come down. I just wanted to catch the ball, you know. That was, I think, you know, that was the biggest play of my career. We're struggling, people are getting starting to leave the game, which I don't blame them. We hadn't done anything, and we're down 24 to 7. And next thing we know, we get a, a momentum changer like that fake punt. The Rams erase a 17-point lead, scoring twice in less than a minute. Anthony Hill, play fakes, back to pass. He's throwing it in the end zone for Eric Olson. He's there. He caught a touchdown. Eric Olson on the fade pattern, catches the ball for a touchdown, and Colorado State has taken the lead. Again, the Rams found a way to win, this time 35-24, to revive their championship dreams. The Ram faithful celebrate as Colorado State cracks the Associated Press top 10 poll for the first time in history. The number one memory for me will be, uh, I think, seeing those fans rushing that field after beating Wyoming. I've, I've never been a part of any school or any organization that the fans really did that, and that, that felt real great. In my wildest dreams, probably as surprising to me or as happy to me is to see the support that we have from Ram fans all over the country, but then bringing it down to a lo locality like Fort Collins and the student boy, to see 39,000 people in there for a conference game and then 32,000 at, at midnight. The season, the championship, come down to one game, Fresno State. The Ram faithful endure one last heart-stopping night of drama. Down 24 to three, the Rams saved their most heroic comeback for this final game. I didn't want to miss that Fresno game for nothing in the world. Anthony takes the snap, back to pass, down the draw to EJ, big hole, EJ inside the 15. I've never been a champion in football before. You know, and it was, it was in our hands and all we had to do was squeeze it. Inside the 10, spinning. That drove me, basically, and I knew the team needed me. I just wanted to help out. Inside the five, takes it in for a touchdown! E.J. Watson, 24 yards on the draw play, and Colorado State is back in the game! That's what we, we strive on all year, the big plays. Staying focused. There's the snap, and it's blocked! Ray Jackson blocks the punt, picks up the football at the 25, he's at the 10, five, touchdown, Colorado State! 
felt it was just a matter of time that something would happen, you know, whether it was offense, defense, special teams, or something. I knew that uh, something was going to happen to help turn that game around. Late in the game on third and short, the Fresno defense looks for run and gets passed. Anthony Hill takes the snap, fakes, rolls, throws. He's got Shaw first down. Justin down the sideline breaks a tackle. 30, 25, 20, 15, and out of bounds at the eight yard line. Jay Blay has done it again. Anthony Hill hooks up with Paul Turner, and the Rams hold on to win their first ever WAC championship. Athletic Conference. Uh, this morning there were two of these trophies. Tonight, for the first time in what four years, there's only one champion. In the, yeah! the Rams did find a way. Conference champions, 10 and 1, number 10 in the country, a trip to the Holiday Bowl. Over the course of the season, they discovered things about themselves, about the will of the team. They looked inside and found the heart of a champion. I think throughout the season, the biggest thing that our character showed was just not giving up and playing every game and every down. As each game passed, you know, that, that belief in that we could win the WAC and we were going to win the WAC, it got stronger and stronger. And if you know you can do it, you can do it, and it'll get done. I thought we had a good team this year, and I thought we were going to do well, but go 10-1, and one, win the, the WAC like we did, I mean, that's just, it is a dream come true. Coach Luther came in and gave us the right attitude, you know, he just gave us the confidence and everything that we needed. We're all one big family, and, you know, nobody gets on each other. We're all positive, and we just all stay together because we're just a great, great big family right now. I like to say this is all coaching, but I learned a long time ago that good players make good coaches, and I think the ingredient that our coaching staff gave to this team is a sense of real trust, trust in their coaches, that the coaches cared for them more than just football players. We were here to help them. The same thing, there's trust amongst the players with each other to have it come together here at Colorado State and to see all these players play sometimes beyond expectations is a thrill that I'll remember forever. 1994 was a year Ram fans will never forget either, but it's just the beginning. After the season, Coach Lubick had to make a tough career decision. The Sports Illustrated and WAC Coach of the Year decided to stay to find a way to recreate the magic of 1994. I really felt that Colorado State is the place that I wanted to be. There are tremendous challenges here. I think we've just scratched the surface. I think there's something to be said about being happy, too. Hey, that's the greatest effort I've ever been around. And you know what? Three of those offensive linemen came up and said that defense was better than any time. Yeah! Yeah! Holiday Bowl bound Rams. Yeah. I've been here for five years. I've never seen so much support in this town. Damn, I'm so proud of y'all for just coming out and seeing us. Hard work and guts and everything else is going to pay off for you guys to do a hell of a job. And that whole city of Fort Collins is dancing in the street. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, just proud of you. Yeah. 